Hello and welcome back uh, to the Nasty Metal Production Channel here at YouTube and welcome uh, to another Friday review. Today's Friday review is of course is on Gabriel, the debut phone length album from Maryland based death metal band Snipers of Babel, released via Horror Pain Gore Death Productions today. So without further ado, let me get into my overall thoughts on Gabriel, the debut album from Snipers of Babel. Let's get into it, folks! Uh, okay, before I really get into my thoughts on Gabriel, you know what I have to do. I have to do a track listing rundown so I can tell you folks where the songs are on this album, how many songs are on this album, and what's the time length for this album. And since there's, there's at least 14 tracks here, it all clocks in at the length of 70 minutes and 18 seconds yikes so these 14 tracks are uh, beginning with the title track element digital death properties of terror uh, crush human another world erased deceived dark science purpose yeah purpose a new beginning uh, what the fuck? France or Ra Franco Terrator? I don't know. Uh, I'm just, a, I just butchered that entire name, whatever. Title, I apologize. Fallacy, and finally ending with Your God's War. So there you go, folks. There's your 14 tracks. <sighs> Those are the sounds of my notes. Ah, <laughs> okay. Since, just like you, I am new to these guys. Pretty much with every band that Harapin Gore Death Production sends me to review. So, I am usually blurry when going into this. So, when coming up with a review here, I have to go off of other bands in this style that I've listened to for comparison reference. So that's where my headspace was when going into Gabriel from Snipers of Babel since I didn't go backwards to listen to their demos and 2018 EP titled Redemption. So Snipers of Babel was conceived in 2016 and is the brainchild of Mike Bozier, Morbius and Oblivion, these guys take an unorthodox approach to their brand of metal. Their sound is pretty much somewhat an industrialized death metal with groove and notes of progressive metal. And at times, I get vibes of either Behemoth, Nocturnus, and at small times, Fear Factory. Mostly with the tracks Another World and Erased. This is a concept album, though, about the breakdown of humanity and its eventual demise to artificial intelligence. These guys also fuse classical, cause I hear some symphonic elements here, and soundtrack-esque ambience along with multiple powerhouse vocalis vocalists that cover a wide range of sound from guttural glow growls blah, to piercing screams and soaring operatic melodies. This is quite an intricate, skillfully crafted soundscape. Snipers of Babel features the prolific Kevin Talley of bands like Dying Fetus, Misery Index, and Suffocation on drums and guest vocal spots by Richard Grindfather Johnson of bands like Agrophobic, Nosebleed, Drugs of Faith, and Enemy Soil. And of course, even Frank Rini of Internal Bleeding. So, it, it's a pretty interesting album. Plenty of, you know, when it comes to this style, plenty of like songs with blast beats and double kick drums, very fast, very heavy, supposed to be brutal, that uh, sort of style and tone, it's all there on this album. So it's an interesting album, one for the more open-minded thinking metalhead. Quite a bit of songs here, I mean, yeah, uh, the length of minutes uh, for the album, again, 70 minutes, it's pretty long, and again, uh, but if the description of the style these guys play is enough to convince you 
and you are one of those who has a eclectic taste for other styles of extreme metal, then this is the album for you. So there you go, folks. There's my overall thoughts on Gabriel, the debut album from Snipers of Babel. And right now, I should be going towards my notepad or notebook, whatever, to read you guys my rating for the album. Well, I'm, I didn't give this album a rating to begin with. I didn't because to me, this is a style that only a handful of people are probably are going to be somewhat interested in and maybe into that personally for me giving a, a rating to this album I don't think would do the sound much justice I think you kind of have to listen to this album on your own terms and see if it does anything for you again just like stated in my notes that if this is something that speaks to you and it interests you in any sort of way I suggest to go into the description box below and find the link to Horror Pain Gore Death Productions so you can check this album out and hopefully you can support the label and the band. So with that, I hope all of you enjoyed. This is Heavy Thrasher saying I'm out. And I'll see you all later. Take care, everyone.